Hello students, in this video we'll introduce the idea of a Dedekind cut. A Dedekind cut is a non-empty, it's important, subset of the set of rational numbers, Q, such that three things are true such that if we label alpha as the cut, then property one of the cut is that it's not empty by the assumption and that this cut alpha is not the entire set of rational numbers. So alpha cannot be the entire set of rational numbers. Two is that if a rational number r is in the cut alpha, then s is in the cut alpha for all s less than r. So every number that is smaller than a number in the cut also is in the cut. And finally, property three is that if r is in the cut, then there is a rational number let's call it P in the cut with R less than P. So these three definitions define what a cut is. So let me give you some examples of cuts. So here is an example of a cut. Let R be a rational number and define alpha R to be the set of rational numbers P such that P is less than R. And I claim that this is a cut. The first thing to observe is that since R is a rational number, 1 plus R, P equals 1 plus R is not in this cut alpha R. And that tells us that alpha R is not equal to the entire set Q. And furthermore, there are infinitely many rational numbers that are less than a fixed rational number. In fact, R minus 1, if I look at P equals R minus 1, we can see that R minus 1 is actually a rational number that's in the cut alpha R. So the cut is not empty. So I have a non-empty set that's not all of Q. So properties 1 and 2 are true. So that's the, over here is the proof of property 1. And then if we look at property number 2, I want to show that if you're less, if S is less than R, then S is in the cut. So let's suppose that suppose that P, that let's say a point R is in this cut. Uh, we already used R, so let's suppose that we have some point in this cut. Let's suppose that um, Q is in the cut alpha R, and that Q tilde is a number that's less than Q. Well, by the transitive property of ordering, if we have this, Q tilde is less than Q, and since Q is in alpha R, that says that Q is going to be less than R, which implies that Q tilde is less than R, and that says that Q tilde is in the cut alpha R. And finally, so this, of course, this statement over here says that number two is true. And so now what? And so now, finally, for three, so let's suppose that Q is in alpha R again. So I, I, I pick a point in my cut. That tells me that Q is less than R. And consider Q plus R over 2. Q plus R over 2 is a rational number. And furthermore, we know that Q plus R over 2 is between Q and R, because the midpoint of two points is always between the two of them. And so this shows us over here that Q plus R over 2 is greater than Q. It's a rational number, and it's less than R. So this says that Q plus R over 2 is in the cut alpha R, and that proves property 3. So in this way, we see that every rational number, R, corresponds to a cut alpha R. So this implies, so this proposition, this example, shows that every rational 
R can be correspond, corresponds to an alpha R, which is a Dedekind cut. In further videos, we'll extend this idea and say, okay, well now we know that every rational corresponds to a Dedekind cut. I'll look at the set of all Dedekind cuts. And the set of all Dedekind cuts will, will be our definition of the set of real numbers. We'll show that that definition satisfies the least number bound property so that supremums and infimums of sets exist in the set R. Thank you very much.